I think a good way to practice your philosophy might be to practice your philosophy. <clears throat> and if you have a philosophy, you should know what it is. And uh, I learned, I got my philosophy from the Greeks on this. So you've got essentially three different ways to look at uh, morality, ethical behavior, um, maybe especially on the part of uh, politicians. So you've got the, the philosophy of Buddha and Jesus, which, uh, to put in the simplest po possible terms, I guess you could say it's a politics and a philosophy of compassion. And then you've got, at the other opposite extreme, you've got the philosophy of Nietzsche, Nietzsche, whatever is Friedrich Nietzsche. What, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and that's the the ethic that no, the right thing is that the most powerful person prevail. Really, that's it. So you've got power versus compassion. Uh, that's complicated because what you see, uh, the examples you see of compassion, they're arguing for compassion aren't in the least bit compassionate because while they might be uh, compassionate in the short term you might feel like it's compassionate or like, but it's, it, what it's definitely not is love because if you love something you actually deal with the reality of it so we've got compassion for this group compassion for that group and you know the, the idea is you know, we'll just be so gentle and so great and so wonderful to them and they become weaker because they're treated so gently like Really, uh, safe spaces is you're training people to be nutcases. Really, the safe space thing is uh, you're training them to be psychologically weak. So what passes as compassion isn't compassion. Um, so there's a third way, and that is to look at yourself as a person that's entirely reasonable and that you need to look at a situation and decide, okay, is this the time for compassion, but real compassion, or is this the time for an exercise of power? So you go from, G from Jesus to, you could almost say from Jesus to Hitler as a short form, and, um, which is quite a span of time. And before that happened, the Greeks had it figured out that no, what you have to do is you have to be uh, reasonable and you have to be connected to your heart as well. You have to be connected to your heart, to your critical facilities, and then you need to look at a situation and decide, is this the time for compassion or power? Obviously, it's not black and white like that, but that I'm just practicing my philosophy. This is my philosophy. You couldn't get any deeper into my philosophy than this. Um, really, I don't think there's a deeper philosophy than this. I, if it exists, I've yet to find it. Okay, so I explain all of this by way of um, introducing an article that I just saw in the Ottawa Citizen. I'm just going to do the title, if I could find it. Anyway, so what's happened in Ontario? And this is real. This is real. Uh, is that the teachers' union has decided that it is racist and... I do believe that uh, they uh, use the uh, Constitution to arrive at this conclusion, this absolutely insane conclusion, that if you ask uh, people who want to be teachers in Ontario to pass the grade 9 math test, it's racist. It's racist to ask a teacher that wants to teach in the Ontario system to pass the grade 9 math test. And why? Because what they found is, is that people of color do less well on the math test. It's a math and pedagogy test. So people that aren't white do poorly on the test. So that means I'm speaking honestly and directly. Then the requirement to pass the, the, the test is racist, right? And so you could wonder, okay, what does this have to do with your philosophy that, you know, you need to be connected to your heart and your mind and make a decision about whether or not this is the time for compassion or power? It just as, that's as simple as I can put it. Yep. As simple as I can put it. 
And so when I look at the teacher situation right now, I say, no, this is not the time for uh, compassion. And to uh, just put it to the most extreme, I'll, what I would do is I would just fire all of them. I would fire every teacher in Ontario because you're, you've done so many things, mucking with kids' ability to go to school and all this transgender stuff. I would fire all of you. And I mean, without pay, and I mean, I would uh, say, just, I'm not going to pay you. Do whatever you like. But, and see, this is the, the thing is that uh, you need a dictator to do this. Because it, if you go with the compassionate model, that's uh, on the basis of unlimited democracy. Uh, Jesus pushed democracy. Obviously, uh, Nietzsche and Hitler didn't. So the, there's, you know, you'd need to be a dictator to do this. You couldn't do this otherwise. But if I was a dictator, and that's a nice fantasy, I would just, I would literally fire every single one of them. I would just walk in there tomorrow and say, "You guys uh, come back when you can pass the math test." And the thing is, is that the teachers' union voted for this, so they're defending the rights of black people uh, to become teachers without proper qualifications. So you voted for it, out you go, tomorrow. And just uh, hire babysitters. You're worse than babysitters now. So get out. No, actually, no, you can stay there. We're gonna shut off all the power, all of the, everything, no deliveries, you don't get a paycheck. Uh, if you destroy the building, we'll arrest you. That's it, get out. That's what they should do, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, it's in the Ottawa Citizen. The article is... It's all positive, you know. Uh, teachers Union wins... Teachers candidates, candidates win huge victory over province's mandatory math tests for educators. So the Ottawa Citizen think this is a huge victory. Uh, yeah. Teachers Unions... The thing is, is that the teachers, the unions in Canada are so huge that you have to get their votes to win an election. So that means they can just do whatever they want, ask for whatever money they want. All uh, federal, uh, provincial, government unions, you have the same problem. But the teachers are the worst because they're taking taxpayers' dollars to destroy kill children's lives. And so I just whatever. I'm the dictator. Out you go. No, you don't have to get out. Stay there. No, you have to get out because, yeah. What am I talking about? Yeah, the school is closed. Get out. And I'm, what, what comes up to me, I would say, like in five minutes. Just get out. Uh, Jordan Peterson used to uh, say what, teacher, what students should do, and he was talking about junior and high school students, is you sh that a student should go to the class and say, this isn't education, this is indoctrination. I'm leaving. Every Just every kid could do that. It's not workable because kids can't make that kind of sensible decision. Uh, so, you know, it was... But the thing is, is that there was time I thought, you know, some students would actually do that. It would be a fantastic protest. It didn't happen. Um, so, I'm talking uh, full-on whatever you want to call this. If you're a teacher's union, get out. <laughs>